Hey guys, I'm here to share my recent favorites with you all, things I've been loving, mostly in the month of March, um, and maybe a little bit before March, but I just wanted to go ahead and share my favorites and get back into doing my monthly favorites videos because I love sharing products that I love with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for returning um, and watching my videos. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new here, thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start with makeup. So the first thing that is technically not a makeup item that I've been loving to use in my makeup routine is the Gotta Be Glued Spiking Glue. So this is amazing. It's water resistant. A lot of people use the Gotta Be products in, in their hair and especially like people who do wigs, units, stuff like that. But I actually use this in my brows. I just ran out of my old little container of this and it lasted me a year and these are like five six dollars at the drugstore so I love this I know there's the Anastasia I forgot what it's called um, it's like a brow sort of gel I use that in my makeup kit on my clients but for myself I love this this is super strong super strong hold and it gives you that laminated brow look I'm sorry it's a little loud outside I think a plane is passing but it gives you that laminated brow look and I love it. I use it with a little spoolie and I just love this in my makeup routine. Another product that I want to talk about and this is an OG but I just recently reintroduced this into my makeup routine is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I love this stuff. It just gives you the most airbrushed look under your eyes and it's just an OG for a reason. People love it. It works. They have a lot of different colors. They keep expanding the color range um, and it's just really really good. So I use the color caramel which is more of my skin tone it's not too bright I actually use two concealers I use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone to sort of correct and then I use a brighter one um, as well on top to give me that brighter look just because I have very dark under eye circles so I feel like I need to do a couple steps to get more of that flawless look under my eye so I use the color caramel and then I put a lighter Too Faced concealer on top and it just gives me the perfect concealer look and yeah I've been loving this lately I'm glad to have it back in my little makeup routine. Another product that I love and I got the last Sephora sale is the Rare Beauty Mascara. This is amazing. Um, it just gives you the perfect volume and length and I just really really like this. It's super black. It doesn't smudge but it's easy to remove at the end of the night. So it just kind of ticks all the boxes um, on everything I need from a mascara and I really really love it. And Rare Beauty is actually one of the more affordable brands at Sephora so maybe I will be picking up another one of these and restocking during the upcoming Sephora sale because I love this stuff. Another thing that I've been loving and that I've been doing is actually using a little powder velour puff to set my concealer and set my face with my translucent powder. This is not a favorite. I am actually desperately trying to finish this Huda Beauty uh, Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in the color Banana Bread. This just doesn't work as well as the Laura Mercier translucent powder or the one size translucent loose setting powder, but I have a good amount left. I'm getting through it. I'm trying to finish it up. I don't love it because it still creases. Um, it's a beautiful finish, but it still creases throughout the day. I need some heavy duty, you know, setting powder. So this doesn't work. And also I hate this packaging so much so um yeah this is not a favorite but the little velour puff is a favorite this is from Laura Mercier you can buy a pack of two they also have the really large one I like the small one to kind of get a little bit more um precision so yeah I love this a little dirty obviously because I use it but I get my loose setting powder and I go ahead and I work it in and I go ahead and I set the areas where I need to set so I've been really liking that sort of routine um, instead of using my beauty blender and um, setting the uh, setting my foundation and things with the powder I've been liking to use this velour puff it's just a you know another way to uh, set your skin I just been liking to do that lately 
Another uh, product that I use every single day in my everyday makeup routine is my cream bronzer and I love this. This is the Chanel Les Beiges, Les Beiges uh, Tan Deep Bronze, the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. So this is the darker bronzing cream that they came out with this past summer and literally I put maybe a little bit of a dent in it this is going to take forever to go through it is an expensive product but you get so much product and I personally really like the formula I really like the color um, it's not too warm it gives a little bit more of a contoured look on my face and then I put my more golden warm bronzer from Gucci on top which I just love that look so this is something I've been just you know using every day and sometimes when you use something every single day you love it you forget to that you know to talk about it or recommend it because it's something that is just a staple and you know if I didn't have this product I would really miss it and you know who doesn't love Chanel I love this so so much and definitely definitely highly recommend it um, if you like to lay your cream products um, under your powders and things like that in your makeup routine it's really really good last but not least for makeup is this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and the reason why I want to mention it is not because it's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick but basically I exclusively use Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks those are my favorite but I normally use darker browns and more like peachy browns but they're always a little bit darker this is actually for me a little bit more nude than I normally go this is the color nude romance and I have it on today and I've been liking going just a little bit lighter. I still like my brown lipstick, but um, this is definitely more from my skin tone a nude. So I've been loving this. So if you're my skin tone and maybe a little bit darker, try Nude Romance by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a beautiful satin finish. So it's not matte. Um, so it gives a little bit of bounce on your lips. And I love it, of course, with my brown lip liner. But um, yeah, this was a surprise. I've been using this lately for the past uh, couple months and I've really been loving it. Normally I use my uh, super 90s or supermodel or pillow talk medium they're all deeper brown mauve lipsticks but um this one is definitely lighter than what I normally wear and I've been loving it so um, I think this is definitely something I'll be using more and more going towards the summer all right guys I want to go ahead and get into just a couple of skincare products um, I my routine hasn't changed um, too much but I do want to talk about a sunscreen that I've been loving I actually ordered this off of Amazon I really am into Korean skincare and things like that so this is actually a Korean um, I believe this is a Korean brand yes it's a Korean brand and it is the brand APU I'm not sure I'll put it on the screen but this is a aqua sun gel so I've been really loving these and I don't know if it's unique to Korean brands but it's actually a gel and it's like a watery gel SPF 50 PA++++ amazing doesn't give a white cast so I really like this as you know being someone who has a tan complexion I love this because it's not going to add a white cast to your skin um, it also does not add texture to my skin it doesn't feel heavy greasy yeah it's, it's, it's a beautiful texture it feels like it's very hydrating but it doesn't feel oily um, I have my husband take this to Columbia to protect when he went on his boys trip to protect his skin because he's much much lighter than me and he really really liked it didn't break him out or anything like that so definitely recommend this if you are looking into a sunscreen and you're sensitive I really like this it doesn't bother my skin and yeah it feels really really good I've been recently using my Charlotte Tilbury magic eye rescue again I love this eye cream I forget how much I actually love this eye cream um, this just gives the most bouncy moist glowy look around your eyes and for some reason my skin has been a little bit maybe with the changing of the season my skin especially around my eyes have been very very dry um so I really really like this because it just rehydrates that area makes it feel really really comfortable and also because I use that gel in my brows um 
I really make sure to remove it and I find that the skin around my brows are just a little bit drier than normal so this also really helps that just to keep that area really nice and moisturized because I don't want anything to go crazy with my eyebrows so um, yeah I've really been liking this and um, even though it's a little bit pricey I really love this I love the magic cream as well but um, that one is a little bit heavier for me right now I like that more towards the winter or as a nighttime sort of cream but right now I'm really loving this eye cream the last skincare product I'm going to talk about is a lip treatment and it is of course the Laneige lip sleeping mask I kind of um, was on the fence with this I think the last time many months ago I mentioned this in a video and I was like I'm not sure if I love this because I felt like it was giving me a film around my lips but I guess that was a little bit of a phase because I love this stuff and it takes forever and ever and ever to get through a jar of this. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to finish it. I got a little mini one as a birthday, um, as a Sephora little birthday thing and that one's in the berry flavor which I love. Um, but this is in the vanilla and I really like this as well. But really good lip treatment again with the changing of the season i don't know why but my lips have been so so dry and this has been like the only thing that helps it i randomly want to talk about a little bit of a nail kind of thing i do my own gel nail polish and i get so many questions about it and this color that i have on right now it's almost like a milky see-through pink and i get a lot of questions on it and so i love this it's by the company amily amily again I'll put it on the screen okay. it looks like this and it's the number 22 and it's just a beautiful little gel polish um, and it's perfect when you just want a natural color on your nails um, just something clean put together um, I really really love this and it almost is like that color that you would put under uh, on your nails that will be on your nails when you do a French manicure it kind of reminds me of that sort of color so I really really like this and um, recommend it and I use that all the time when I don't know what I want to put on my nails I just want something again clean put together and feminine I almost forgot I did want to talk about these eyelashes I've been really loving the Ardell naked lashes and the number 421 um, these are, they remind me of like the wispy lashes, but they're just a little bit more fluffy and they're just more natural. They have a clear band and again, they're like called naked lashes. So they almost look like lash extensions. They're super natural and I wear lashes every day basically, especially to work. And so I just love how these look. They just blend seamlessly with my lashes but they really give me a little something i'm wearing them today and so yeah i've been loving these these are again the naked lashes in 421 so if you're looking for something that gives you a little zhuzh a little drama but that's not like a heavy heavy lash try these naked lashes i have the 420s as well but i keep those in my makeup kit because those are very natural and i love to sort of customize those and cut those up for my clients but these i love for myself because they're longer and i do definitely enjoy a longer lash on myself personally i've been loving a body product that i want to share with you guys i just recently opened this up and been using it for a little bit for a couple weeks and this is the brazilian the sol de janeiro brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel this is the one that smells like the brazilian bum bum cream i just really like this because it smells so so good and just another way to sort of layer that smell because I do use the body cream um, and although it says it's a moisturizing shower cream gel it's not that moisturizing to me but I don't mind but what I love is that it lathers a lot you need very little and it lathers a lot so I have no doubt that this is going to last me a while and again I love this smell my husband actually loved this, loves this smell on my skin so that makes me even more happy but yeah, I really recommend this. I really love it. And I'm uh, talking about it because obviously the Sephora sale is coming up. And I really, really love this. I want to talk about a fragrance. You guys know I love fragrance. And uh, I uh, recently got the Feminine Pluriel from Mason Francis Kirkjohn in my collection. And this is a beautiful floral. This is like a heavy floral. It has like... Um, jasmine and rose it has patchouli in it so it's a little bit more of a traditional floral fragrance it has 
to me like a little sweetness but it has this really beautiful powderiness to it and it's something that had to grow on me because initially I never really loved this fragrance but then one day I wore it and this is the only fragrance that my husband has ever complimented me on. I wear fragrance every single day. I have a huge fragrance collection um, and I wear fragrance every single day and you know he told me you know you always smell good and he was like you know I'm sorry I never you know I never noticed that I never complimented you on your fragrances because you always smell good but this he actually went out his way he was like what are you wearing like he hugged me when he came in from work he hugged me he was like what are you what are you wearing I'm like what 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 and I'm like oh uh it's this you know this perfume and so I was just like okay so it's just very feminine, it's elegant, it's really pretty. So next time you're near a MFK counter, definitely take a little bit of whiff um, and maybe spray it on and walk around with it, let it dry down because it's definitely not for everyone. And it's definitely for me, it wasn't love at first sniff, but now I can't get enough of it. And I think it's just so pretty, so feminine. And I'm so glad to have it because I think I would be wearing this so much during the spring and summer. Um, so yeah, Feminine Pluriel, I've been loving. Last but not least, I want to talk about candles. I have recently really been into burning candles. You can see I have one burning back here. This is the Sir Trudon Ernesto candle. It is beautiful. This candle company is very expensive, but it's one of those candles that will literally, you know, fragrance your whole living space. It is even when it's not burning it literally my whole living room smells like this candle it is such high quality the smell is amazing and yes yeah, so I'm burning that right now I really really love it I love the vessel it's just beautiful I actually have another one right here that I just got um, called Cyrenos which is a little bit more of a lighter scent um, yeah these candles are <laughs> very expensive but they are literally beautiful they're made in france this company has been around since 1643 so that's a very very long time time i think it's the oldest surviving candle company Sir Trudon. um so if you come in contact with these you have to smell them you cannot get them everywhere they're very hard to find but if you come in contact with them smell them there is a counter a full counter if you're in new york city at nordstrom new york city they have a full counter come smell them it's actually located like right across from where i'm located so like come smell them they're amazing and also the reason why i really love these more luxurious um candle brand is just because I don't collect candles I'm not a person I don't like Bath and Body Works candles but I'm not a person who's just gonna go out and just collect a bunch of candles and burn through them and so I like to have a few really nice candles and when I'm in the mood I'll burn them like I love to burn them when I'm filming or when I'm cleaning in my cleaning my home um, I don't burn candles all, all the time but I'm really getting into burning them more so I'm starting to add more and more to my collection so that's why I go for the more expensive brands because I just don't want to collect them and have them sitting in a, like a linen closet or anything like that. Um, another brand that I like that's a bit more affordable is going to be the Boy Smells candle. This is the Lanai candle. This smells amazing. So it has coconut, um, pink peppercorn, orange blossom, uh, coal and clove, um, rose. It's just beautiful. It has this creaminess to it. I love also how the boys, uh, the boy smells candles look. They're really sleek. I love a sleek, simple candle. So I really love these, and these are definitely more affordable. Uh, they're gonna be at the thirty-eight or so dollar range. Um, so if you want something maybe that it's still luxurious, but maybe just not as much as a Sir Trudon candle, the Sir Trudon candles are gonna range from one ten up until like 150 or so for um for a how big are these for a 9.5 ounce which is like your normal size candle so that is very very expensive for a candle but again it's the quality that i love and of course of course of course i'm going to talk about the baccarat rouge 40 candle from mfk a lot of people say that the candle doesn't throw really far but it's like the fragrance the fragrance has a very luminous quality to it it comes and goes 
um, it's almost very like airy and wispy the candle is the same way and I really love the candle I keep the candle in my bedroom and I really like to keep the candle even though it comes as this beautiful gold uh, top I actually like to keep the candle open because I can smell it in my bedroom um, Especially when it starts to warm up, um, I really, really get the whiff of the candle. So I like to keep it without the top on it, but it's a beautiful candle to keep out. It has the red label, just like the fragrance has. Um, and I really, really love, 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 love this candle. Again, an expensive candle, but I had to, I had to do it. I love it. All right, guys, so that's everything I wanted to talk about in my... Uh, March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are loving for this month, whether it's beauty products or, you know, body care. Let me know. I would love to know lifestyle favorites, anything like that. Do you guys burn candles? I've just gotten into really burning them. So now I'm like finding all these really wonderful companies that I love. So let me know if there are any candle companies that you absolutely love that I should check out in the, you know, comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give me a like, uh, subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.